G'day everyone, MV here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we are playing Salt High Fields, but before we get into the deck, just remind you to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date with all of my new decks. And just before I jump to the deck, I will, deck tech, I will make a um, new announcement. If you're seeing this, um, due to changes in my work schedule and home schedule outside of doing this I'll be uploading every second day for the next couple of weeks um, so expect a new video every second day for whatever day that is for you but thank you for your patience now let's go into the deck so to start off we are playing a field of the dead deck I mean it, it's a fun deck it, it's a fun card I'm gonna play it because I like to play it and so I've decided to stick with the salt eye color basic so this is all just salt eye we're not running the five colors in it um, we are running Gaulus Tyler's Pilgrim, who needs 5 colours to activate its ability, but Dry the Elysian Grove pushes that for us anyway. So to start with the 2 drops, we're running 4 Explore to play additional land and draw a card, and 4 Growth Spiral to draw a card and play an additional land. Difference being, this is a sorcery that only requires 1 green mana and 1 plane, and this is an instant that requires a green and a blue. Now, in a 5 colour deck, Explore is the better card, because you can, all you need is the green mana or anything else. But since we're running Salt Eye, Grow Spiral will really help us as well because we do have the colors needed to run it. We're running two Dried Elysian Grove. This allows us to play an additional land each of our turns. We're not too worried about the play additional land because all our all our land playing cards allow us to not really draw land, but play them on the field when the day of the turn we draw them. So we just like having the ability that every basic land is the same as every type addition to the other types, giving us access to every color of mana which we can do a lot of cool shenanigans with. Two Elvish Rejuvenator. When it enters the battlefield, we look at the top five cards of our library and put a land card from among onto the battlefield. Uh, tapped, it comes in tapped, and the rest go to the bottom in any random order. This can find us any land we want, and typically, with the amount of lands we have, we are going to hit him and fight, play him and find a land. Running three Ura of Titans to Nature's Wrath to allow us to draw, and put, put, draw cards, put down more lands, and gain a little bit of life, which is always good. Two extinction events for getting rid of things that we don't like. Um, so typically we make a lot of tokens, which is good, and tokens count for zero. We can also use this against another um, Field of the Dead deck, which will um, wipe them out. Um, we can wipe out their tokens and ours, but we can get rid of things that we don't really like that much. Running four, Sukaeus Route. So we can put two basic lands and or gate cards on the battlefield tapped. I was going back and forth between Cultivate and Circus Route, but I decided Cultivate's pro Circus Route's a bit better because we are running the um, one of each of the Guild Gates that matches the Salt Eye colors, which is um, Golgari, uh, Golgari, Simic, and Demir. So we have a total of uh, six, eight targets we can get with this, so that's pretty good. So we're pretty happy with um, Circus Route. For Golos Tyler's Pilgrim can find us any land we want, and we typically always try and find ourselves a Field of the Dead. We can also pay two and then one of each mana color to exile top three cards of the library and play them this turn without paying their mana costs, which is always good. Now, for our end game material, we're running one Masker Worm. Masker Worm's in here because if we burst another Field of the Dead deck, this is our out to them. So we both get tokens, 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 tokens. And then um, we play Field of Massacre Worm, and we vroom all their tokens, and then they take a bunch of damage. It's a really fun card. Casualty of the War can get rid of one of everything. I like to get rid of other people's Field of the Dead, which is, you know, kind of funny to do. But you can take out lots of stuff that, you know, annoys you or gets in the way. Uh, we've got one Crater Hoof Behemoth. This is our another win condition. So if we get, like, 20, um, 20 uh, tokens on the field, which we, you know, can pretty quickly, um, we play Crater Hoof Behemoth. So he enters the battlefield, and all the creatures we control gain trample, and they will get um, X20, X20 until the end of turn, and then we swing, and then we just kill them. And this works great against other Field of the Dead decks as well, which is pretty much our only competition we're running against. And lastly, to Ugin the Spirit Dragon, because getting him down, which we can get him down pretty early on because of all of our ramp, if we can get that 10 off, draw 7 cards, put 7 permanents, if we had 4 Field of the Dead decks, Four field of deads on the battlefield. And then we drew seven lands, for example, put them all down. We'd end up with what? Seven, 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 seven. It was 28 zombie tokens being made that turn, which is pretty good. As for the lands, we are running 31 lands, which is lots of lands. I'm not going to go through them all because there's too many to talk about. But they're the lands we're running. 
So we're going to play some best of one in historic and see how we do with our Sultai Fields deck. Let's get going. Alright, Pandora's Books. It's a good accent on that one. Actually going first for once, which is amazing. And I will keep this. Alright, well, here we go. I would definitely start off with that Simic Guildgate. It's probably the best starter point there is. Away with the gates. Oh, Charm Stray. Interesting. Well, Jungle Hollow will come down tapped, which I don't want. I need to get stuff on the field as soon as I can, which means we need you to come down. And good. And I can grow Spiral and Circuit. Circuit. This one. That's a hard word. Circuitous. Circus. Ah. Ooh. It's a cat deck. I like cats. They are cool. I'm going to play you. Glorious. Lovely. Alright, well at least the Circus Rat will come down next turn. Giving us six lands. Which is great. Oh, another cat. Oh, more cats. Hmm. Well, I think we'll go with Uru. Get some life in. Oh, we hit a land. Beautiful. Glorious. That's nice. Now we should be able to hit with Circadius Route and get more stuff. Oh, now they're getting a boost. Someone's getting them, them cats, which is great. Great for them. Not great, not so good for me. Take that action. We need more fields as we need more stuff. More zombies to kill his stuff. Oh. Oh my god. Well, we are, what's the, as they say, we are the screwed. I will block one of them. I don't have any artifacts or enchantments. Oh, I do. Ha! <laughs> this is like, I don't have any artifacts or enchantments. Yes, you do. Alright, if only I had a land with me. Only I had a land. Alright, let's check you and you. Why not? Doesn't matter much to me. Come on, hit me that land. That was explore. Well, we can block one of each one. Oh! No, it's not all over, unless he doesn't play something with haste, because we can always just oog in everything. And I don't really think they get haste a lot. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. I have to literally block everything. Alright, one against you. One against you. No one has trample, right? No, one against you. One against you. I've been trying for so long trying to make a deck like this that actually works, but every time I play it, it just doesn't work and it really bothers me. So. Oh, what is that? What's the highest he's got? Four? Yeah. Oof. Alright. What a. Alright, there's a Pride Sovereign. That's... Come on, hit me that land. Oh, Yes. Land. Alright, here's the plan. If I can play this guy... Which I can. I'm gonna play him. He gets me some life, at least. Exile those ones. Alright, that's good. Oh, yes. Um, Golos, let's go. Oh, how the turntables have turned. And I'm going to blow up your... 
pride sovereign. I will destroy if I must. If I must, I will. Oof. Well, that went. That could have gone either way. Alright, well, going first again, so I'm super happy about this. Um, I could absolutely just do Breeding Pool with into Castle Vantress, because then it will actually... I don't have to pay any mana. I think I will do that. Then I can play Explore and put down probably the Mere Guild Gate. Oh yeah, that's nice. Alright, Explore away. Uh, oh god, yes, I'll take the Guild Gate. Is great. Mindstone, huh? Hmm, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Growth Spiral. Gonna play my Jungle Hollow. And I'll play the Overgrown Tomb. And just tapped. Beautiful. Oh, Calm the Great Creator. Interesting. What do you grab? Grafting cage. Well, um, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, put that down. I'm gonna play this one. Play this one. And hopefully we can find what I'm looking for. Another extinction event. Oh. -ho. My purpose is greater than myself. Sorcerer Spyglass. Oh, well, at least he knew I was running Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Come on, fields. Oh, yes, there you are. Yes. This Couches of War means we can hit Khan, land, and Grafdigger's Cage. I'm assuming he doesn't kill us all. Some solution. I don't think he'd have a counter for it because it's mono white. Are you taking away my zombie? Did you? Did you just take away my zombie? That was weird. Okay, whatever. Couches of War. Let's go with Destroy Artifact. Enchantment. Planeswalker. Done. Artifact uh, is definitely going to get rid of the cage. Get rid of all that. Which is good. Guildgate, give me a zombie. Beautiful. There we go. And that's why Casualty of War is in the deck, to stop stuff like that from happening. Alright, well, I get to go first again. This is super nice. I'm really having a good time with this one. Alright, well, let's keep this. We got three explorers. <laughs> Can't. Can't argue much more than that. Casualty of War is also good. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to have to pay two life for this one. Go to Explore. Give me a Guild Gate. Let's just chuck that Guild Gate down. Beautiful. And I guess we'll play Drive of the additional Elysian Grove. I mean, oh. Did he ever land as well? Oh! We're versing the same deck. Oh my. Oh my. Alright, you can go there. Let's go drive the Elysian Grove. Good. If we get another land next turn, we should be in a ship shape. So. This looks like it's a zombie versus zombie deck. Luckily, if I can. If I can. That one. Oh, extinction event's good. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh well, let's go. We get a hit of land that we can play. We can catch the war and kill his field of the dead, and that will make our lives way easier than it, sh it has to be. Oh. 
Oof. I mean, I think he went to go find another Fields of the Dead, most likely. No, he went to find a Triome. Oh, well, we got Fields of the Dead too. Check that out. They odd, even, odd. Odd. No, that's annoying. We need... Let's go. To... Yep. Let's go. I'm going to have to go Fields of the Dead as well. And no attacks. Leave that. Alright. If we can hit a land next turn, we'll get some zombies. If we don't hit a land, we'll still just blow up his Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead, creature, artifact. It's great. Oh, well, you didn't really get all the ones you wanted. Oh, does he lose his land? Man, he's gonna lose. Oh, dude, I'm sad about you. You're gonna lose your. You're gonna lose your field of the dead, aren't you? Oh dear, how unfortunate. <laughs> Casualties of war. Uh, enchantment, creature, and artifact. Done. So, destroy the artifact. The creature we'll get rid of will be the zombie. Oh, I don't want... Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> Why do that? I want land, land, creature, artifact, yes. Alright, artifact, go, creature, go, land, go. Cycling will not save you. There's one field gone, and he lost two fields, so we're down two fields, and I've got two fields on him, so no attacks. I feel like this is a pretty good spot we're at. No, there's... He got one more. Alright, he's gonna search for the last two. It's like, ha, you just got outfield, son. Oh my god. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to... We can... Oh, if we get another land, we can double the extinction event. Alright. Uh, or go. Oh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Well, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Uh, even. If I get rid of that, he gets rid of all his tokens. And it means next time I can bring Uru back. Yeah. Uh, even. No attacks. There we go. Aww. It's like, oh, that kind of sucked. <laughs> well, I can we can go Golos next turn, hopefully. Oh my god. I know how we win him. I know how we beat him. We just had to find Masculorm. We get Masculorm, and actually we'll just... Okay, that's an odd. We're going to have to odd this turn. You took all my stuff. Always consider the consequences of freedom. Uh, three. One, two, three. Ghostfire. 
He just got migration path. I'm just hoping I can get that Massacre Worm. Really make him work for his extra arm. All the tokens. Uh, it's a 16. That's not enough to kill him yet. We might have to Extinction Event and get rid of his tokens one more time to help us survive long enough to not die. Ooh, Hinterland Harbor. That's a card. I'll take that. Let's go, Uru. Ooh, Nelvish Rejuvenator. Now that is interesting. Yep, we'll go with Elvish Rejuvenator. Please don't show me Masker Worm. Please don't show me Masker Worm. Please don't show me Basker Worm. Oh, I didn't hit Masker Worm. Thank God for that. Zagoth, away we go. So we got a few more zombies, which is good. I'm going to... I can exile all his tokens again. But I think I'm just going to do 3 damage to his Ugin. So he does not get the Ugin ability off. No attacks. Leave it at that. I don't know why he did that, but whatever. Oh, land, land. Languish, that kills everything. That kills everything. My, our, my creatures and yours. We do have another extinction event, so we are in a spot where we can save ourselves if need be but I think he's gonna swing reckon he'll swing alright well we need to block 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 and block and block so we'll lose all our tokens but we will gain some important things from it Ideally, not being killed. Oh. Hey, it's Golos. Golos. Y yes, play Golos. Let's try not to die, guys. I want to keep... I'm going to keep... The Golos I already have. Alright, find me another fields. Action. Let's feel the dead, please. And we're gonna go with Evens. Even Steven. Even exile all the tokens. No attacks. This one, he can draw seven cards, seven life, and put seven points in the hand of the battlefield. This is going to be the game, this is in the end game here. Here it is. Put seven permanents on the battlefield. He's going to put, he's, if he just gets lands, he is just in a great spot. Oh, he only got two lands. Oh man, he didn't get enough and I'm happy, I can say, I'm happy about that. He didn't get enough. It's not, still not enough. I'm kind of sad that I killed all his Field of the Deads. If I hadn't have done that, I would have been out of... 12, 16, it's not enough. Not enough for a victory. I 
There's still more. There's still chances. If you can hit some more lands. But I think he's land out. Oh man. Or I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even even then it's still not enough. Forest. <laughs> no attacks. Oh, I'm gonna lose 20 cards, and I'm pretty sure I'll lose the only hope I have. So, we just need to block that so we don't take damage. Um, that's it. And that'll be it. Come on, I want you to put more zombies down. I need more zombies. Oh, I lost the car I needed. Good game, man. We we just got we got outfielded. <laughs> Uh, I'll just get milled out next hit. Still, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty psyched. Like, that was pretty awesome. If only I was able to, if I could have got that massacre worm, life would have been a bit better. Well, let's just go, go for broke, you know? Go, Dryad. Away we go. He does not even know. <laughs> oh, just all lands. <laughs> lands. Just lands. He's probably like, what? Does he have some way if he's going to survive? And the answer is, good game. Go, keep going. Oh, there it is. Oh well, fun. Let's go. Just, just let it happen. Just, just let it, just let it be. Oh, ouch! I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna give him the good game. I don't waste him. I don't want to waste any more of his time. But that was fun. All my good choice. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I mean that went pretty well. I mean two out of three is not bad. That last game we got out. We got outfielded, and I honestly did not expect um, that Eldrazi to come down and wreck house. But still, you know uh, that just comes down to the whole thing of. If you go against another Fields of the Dead deck, whoever gets Fields first is probably going to win. They're going to outfield you. So, you know, yeah, it's alright. It's pretty fun. I do enjoy seeing something spicy like that going on. He also managed to get his Golos ability off pretty early, which did give him a huge advantage over me in the mid-game. 
but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's a bit of fun. Anyway, that was the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future MTG Arena videos. As of now, I will put, be putting a video, new video up every second day. And thank you so much for watching. If you appreciated this video, let me know what you liked about it in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas for future decks you'd like me to try out or test, also leave that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.